Greetings. You've tuned into System Test 16, the video that was supposed to be out about two weeks ago. I have tried to record this video about five times, and the reason I have done that is because there's a certain standard of quality that I hold my videos to, and I just feel like each time I record it, it just isn't meeting that. So hopefully this is the one that actually works. Also, I just realized I left my keys upstairs, so I'll be right back. I mentioned that I was going to debut a very big feature, that has, and I zoomed into the little custom option here, and that feature is going to be in this video. I'm pretty sure it's like it's completely obvious at this point, but I'm building up the suspense for the uninitiated, I guess. I also said in a comment that I was running out of devices to use for the system and I just couldn't, I didn't have any, any more to interchange to keep the system fresh and new for content. So I thought maybe I'd use a couple that uh, I don't use all that much and maybe that'll still look interesting. So let's take a look at the system and see what we've got. I have a Simplex 425121L local alarm T-bar. I got the model number wrong in the last video for the second time. I have the Pyrotronics multi-tone horn and the strobe may or may not be wired because it's, I only wired the horn since I have this strobe right next to it. But since this has some random two-wire setting on it or whatever, I'd, I'd, it might actually be turned on. I don't know. I have the 4904-9101 right next to it. And well, let's go into this room here. I have an Edwards 8926B. I've still got the wheel lock RSS over there. And I still have the vintage notifier BNG1R and the Federal Signal 450D, which might not be raspy anymore. I don't know. I have a cat. Whenever the cat's in the video, people say nice things about her because she's a good kitty. And now, the pull station next to this door. I'm very, very pleased to show because it's a rare pull station that I have always wanted. I have a Gamewell M69. These things are so rare, but I have one and it's missing the, uh, the silver piece, whatever, the chrome part that goes on the front there. All right, and I will start this system test by pulling down the Simplex Local Alarm T-Bar. So here we go. Take note of what code it's in, because there's a reason it's in what code it's in. Except for that. Except for that one. Looks like the strobe is wired on that device. actually silenced. I've been having some trouble with the silence button. All right, let's go ahead and reset. So, why was this on continuous? Well, it's not because the panel is set on continuous because it's set to custom. The reason this is on continuous is because I have finally, after like a year and probably a half of sort of teasing this feature, I have built a custom code card and this panel now accepts custom code cards. And the reason I chose continuous is because I wanted to build the code card and demonstrate the concept in its most simple form. 
which is continuous. And you can see exactly how it works by doing that. See, for the panels to power any of the other code modules, it requires four wires. Two that go into the device, to the coding device for power. In this, sen in this case, it's the system sensor sync module. But also for this relay, you can see there's two wires that go, or there's four wires going into it. I don't remember which wires are for the power or not. And it needs two wires to come out for the horn, except here, because this only requires one. So you can see the top, uh, the top wire here is for powering the relay, and the bottom wire here is for the horn input. And it looks very simple right now. I mean, it is. You know, you just plug it right in and it works. But what I plan on doing with this is I'm going to get a really tiny motor that moves at about five rotations per minute, probably. I'm going to attach a code wheel from a coded pull station to it. And I'm going to try to build a code card with a coded pull station code wheel. My goal is to make it so that you can just take the code wheel out and put a different one in. Um, probably going to be using Gamewell code wheels. And I've been saying that this is a monumental feature because as far as I know, as far as I know, there might be some other obscure user out there who bested me, but no homemade panel, as far as I know, has the ability to use custom code cards. So it has a code card that was continuous. Let's set the panel to March time, and we'll go and pull down the Gamewell M69. Also, I forgot to mention this earlier. You might notice I'm using a different camera. That's actually because this system is so loud that my other camera, the microphone just couldn't take it and the audio was like it was clipping the whole time. Also, another thing to note is that one user commented on one of my videos saying that they disagree with me on how loud this thing is. And uh, I, I, I think I might have to retract my statement because it is extremely loud. I think the, th the video they were commenting on was I had it way over there and usually when I'm over there I'm standing to the side of the device and so usually the sound goes out that way and not out that way. Now I'll put the panel in code 3, I'll pull the notifier pull station and I will also put it in walk test because why not. and I will end the video. So, here we go.
And here's all the strobes and whatnot. Now let me take a step back for a moment and just show you this craziness here with the strobes. Look at that, the seizure strobe effect is strong with this video. I put that warning in the beginning of the videos for a reason. All right, so that's it for system test number 16. I hope this was worth the wait. Probably not, but I'm sure this can become something pretty cool in the future as long as I'm diligent, which, you know, it's always kind of iffy, but that's it for system test 16. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.